Welcome to Computer Science 320, 2014 Winter 2, Midterm 2 Practice Problem Screencast. We are on problem 5.2 right here. Consider an arbitrary job J in some instance with one or more jobs. If we select J to be in a solution, it divides the instance into two separate smaller instances. Describe these two instances. So we're kind of supposed to think about this arbitrary example, but it's probably going to be easier if we draw a specific example. So let's just uh, scroll down, give ourselves a little bit of room, and draw a specific example. So there's some jobs, you know, maybe these. Uh, there. There's some jobs. And I'm going to decide this is my job J. It's kind of towards the middle, so why not? And it's going to divide up the instance into two separate smaller instances. So why does it divide the instance into two separate instances? I mean, clearly, you can't use any of the jobs that conflict with that job. So we get to eliminate this one and this one just because they conflict. But that's nothing special. I mean, that's just removed some jobs from the instance. We can also remove the one that we've selected, maybe, because presumably we're picking it. So we can drop that one out, but we're just left with jobs. Are they really separate instances? Because if we want to do divide and conquer, we probably want to make separated instances. And the answer is, yes, they are. Nothing on this left side can possibly overlap with anything on this right side. Right? Because if it did, it would have to cross the job in the middle here. It would have to cross job J. Okay? And that means that an optimal solution to the left side paired with an optimal solution to the right side is an optimal solution to the two sides, assuming we use job J. Right? So assuming we use job J, the optimal solution to the left side, which we can compute independently of the right, plus the optimal solution of the right side, which we can compute independently of the left, plus job J itself is an optimal solution to the overall problem. And that is crucial for divide and conquer. You need to know that you can pair up an optimal solution with one of the subproblems with an optimal solution with the other subproblems computed independently, because you want to break it down into individual problems that don't know about each other, and then put those optimal subproblem solutions together into an overall optimal solution. So we do know that they are separate. And how can we describe them? The left instance contains all jobs with finish times f sub i, let's say, finish time of job i. Uh, less than the start time of job J. And the right contains uh, jobs with start times SI greater than the finish time of job J. And that's it. That'll actually also take care of the overlapping jobs, because this job, for example, here that overlaps, but kind of looks like maybe it's on the left, well, it does not have a finish time that's less than the start time of J. And even if we added a new job that crossed all the way across, that's no big deal. It does not have a finish time that's less than the start time of job J, nor does it have a start time that's greater than the finish time of job J. So those jobs will automatically be eliminated, and we'll be left with jobs like these that really don't overlap. Uh, they can overlap with each other, though, so we could have a job like that. But they don't overlap job J.